Hello everyone, I'm Al ISO Elohim, and this is my son, Mr. Squeaker. Yes, he is almost 10 months old, making this parenting journey 19 months since I found out I was pregnant, which is crazy. He's taught me so much over these past months, and I want to share one of the many lessons I've learned. But first, let me hand him off so that you guys can focus and not be super distracted by this cute boy. <sighs> Say bye bye. Say hi, buddy. Okay. Hi, baby. So here is an article I wrote when he was about one month old. Hopefully, it helps some of you guys. Let me know what you think. I realized an important truth tonight. I said something, but heard it being said to me even louder. Hopefully, it can help at least one of you too. Here's the contents. My son woke up crying because he was hungry, but I discovered he first needed burps and a diaper change in addition to his usual preemptive semethicone drops. As I hurried to take care of all three other needs as quickly as I could, and Slow continued to cry. Through burping him, he thrashed himself around, trying to get the food for himself. Through changing his diaper, his cry became louder and filled with anger. The only thing he wanted was food and fast. I could have given in and given him what he wanted immediately, but he would have been a whole lot worse off if I had forgone everything else. Finally, once the burping was done, the drops were given, and the diaper was changed, he got to eat. He was satisfied at last. Looking into his eyes, I said, See? I love you, and I will always take care of you. Even when you don't see that that's what I'm doing, and it seems like I'm ignoring you. I trailed off. No longer hearing the words from myself, but to myself. Sometimes I have to take care of more important things first. I've been so upset lately because no matter how much I've cried out to God to resolve the spiritual warfare I've been battling, it persists. I see him moving in all kinds of amazing ways, and it's not that I don't appreciate them. But I haven't been praising the almighty Lord of heaven and earth to the fullest extent that I should be because I'm stuck focusing on this one little aspect of my tiny little life that's left lacking for now. Still, God loves me. He's always taking care of me, even if I don't realize it and don't thank him enough for it because it's not exactly how I want, what I think I need, or in the order I'd expect. God's not ignoring me. If anything, I'm ignoring him. He knows what's important, and he'll continue to help me however I need. I just need to trust him. I know this has been long, but I'm not the only one who, despite knowing God hears us, doesn't feel like he does. Hopefully, if any of you are struggling with a need or want, you feel like God is neglecting. This will help shine a different light on your situation, too. I know tonight has at least given me reassurance and hope, and thank God for that. Philippians 1.6 And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Let's close in prayer. God, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for being such a good father to us, for loving us and caring for us even in the ways that we don't see. God, I praise you for completing this good work in us, even if it's not how we want or when we want. God, you promise us that through your Son, Jesus Christ, that this work will be completed if we trust in you and follow your ways. God, I pray that we do trust in you and join together to learn more about you and become the people you call us to be. May you be glorified. Amen. God bless.